so I felt like I had been cheated and I was just so shocked. My experience of miscarriage was sadly that I had three miscarriages in between having my first daughter who's now 11 and my second daughter who is now seven. The first miscarriage was the hardest because I was actually 13 weeks pregnant when I found out and I was at my first scan. So I'd arrived and I was all excited for my first scan and I had that awful thing where the poor sonographer had to say, there's no heartbeat. And I think the thing I felt most was shock because I had really severe pregnancy sickness. I suffered with all of my pregnancies and I'd still been being sick the morning of my scan. So I felt like I had been cheated and I was just so shocked. It was just such a big surprise. I'd expected there to be a baby on that picture. And then when I had my second, it was much earlier on. It was only, I was only six weeks pregnant and I, I just remember feeling, no, this can't be happening again. What am I doing wrong? Which I think so many mums-to-be feel when they've had a miscarriage. By the time I had my third miscarriage, I felt like I was then getting a bit of help. My GP was more interested, which sounds awful, but really GPs aren't very interested until you've had more than one miscarriage. Then I got some tests and they were able to identify that my thyroid was underactive. It's very hard not to beat yourself up when you've lost a baby because you feel like it's your fault and it isn't. Because I had been so very, very sick, particularly with my first miscarriage. Everybody knew I was pregnant. I didn't, I couldn't keep it secret for those first 12 weeks. I was able to talk about it, but actually with hindsight, it made it harder because people were then asking me, oh, are you okay? And I didn't necessarily feel like I wanted their sympathy. My second miscarriage, nobody apart from myself and my husband knew I was pregnant. I don't know about other mums out there, but I felt like because I was only six weeks and I'd only just found out, it almost didn't count, which I found really hard to deal with. For my third miscarriage, I really sadly felt people like didn't want to know anymore. Once you start to have multiple miscarriages, it's quite hard for people to, they don't know what to say to you and you don't know what to say to them. And everyone's like, oh, why is that happening? Do you know? And you don't. So it just ends up making you feel even more guilty. So the first one I talked a lot about. Second two, I was much quieter about. It really impacted my fifth pregnancy. I didn't tell anyone until very late because I was just so convinced I was going to lose this one as well, which I didn't. I think what was most helpful after I'd miscarried was the friends who didn't ask, oh, what can I do? It was the friends who texted and said, I'm going to pick up Chloe from nursery for you today, or the friends who turned up and hoovered. Lots of people are talking more openly about miscarriage and that can only be a good thing. But I do think it's still something that women and dads to some degree feel like they can't really talk too much about because it's still not openly discussed all the time.